everybody, it's Nadia here again and I'm bringing you a video on products I regret buying or products I don't like that YouTubers have said yes this is the best thing since in bees knees I just thought basically I class these as my bad products products that I just know I'm never going to reach for Hopefully, if you're new to my channel, you'll hit the subscribe button. And I am posting now, Monday, 12. I'm actually going to be changing it, I think, from 1st of December. I'm going to be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6pm East Pacific Time. Um, so that it's more convenient and it gives me like the all day rather than rushing late at night to get the video out to you guys and probably more along the way because i just enjoy coming to you guys and showing you everything so so the first bad one that was sent sold uh sold me on this was I could probably tell you the names as well. This was from Tati and this is the Knit Urban Decay Illuminated Shimmering Powder for Face and Body. So this is the outside of the box. I was like, yeah, it's face and body. I'll be able to get away with it on my face. It doesn't do anything. I like the swatch because I swatched it but when I went to put it on my face no no it's absolutely horrible it emphasized all my pores and you know it's 20 or 25 20 some pound youtubers sell you these things from America but they've got the sun to wear it in the UK we don't so so this is one product i totally regret buying uh on a youtuber's recommendation as well also this urban decay beach bronzer now i've used it a couple handful of times if even if that and i put this in my top five because i've been using it and it was really nice and my top five high-end bronzers and it was nice but then it was like i don't know something just changed about it i don't know whether it was the color or anything it just started to look wrong because it's extremely extremely light and not saying i want uh, an extremely heavy bronzer but i want a bronzer I, i've just found that i can't do that with this these this one and this is the sun kiss one maybe it was a different one um but this was recommended to me by jessica broad and no i'm not i'm not calling out these youtubers i'm just saying these are the ones that's gone yeah it's really good you know you need to get your hands on it no you don't just go with your own conscience i never say you need to have this go with your own thoughts on it because i've gone mainly on what they've said and nah this is the l'oreal hydrogenous aloe water this was from miss beauty budget she'd use her down to there and said that it hydrated her face it felt amazing you know she's she's normal to combo because everyone's either i don't know why people say normal because you've always got a little bit of combo in it in you but this does jack for me and i am more normal than i am combo and it's supposed to be hydrating so it was rubbish so i'm afraid I just can't i can't use it guys i really can't use it i actually put this in my fails at the beginning of november and i've tried it since then and i cannot 
I can't work with it. Really can't. And I tried, but no. This was from Sophie Dust Nails. She was on about the NYX palettes. And I bought it on her recommendation, how good they were. And if you watch my review on the NYX, I hated this palette with a passion. I really did. Um, it's just, nah. I've got better products than this and cheaper products than this that are better quality and do a better job. So... This is just a nah, I wouldn't, all of these are just a nah, wouldn't touch. And again on Sophie Does Nails, because I did do a full face of NYX, after she said how good these products were, I've literally taken everything back, apart from these ones. Um, but they're just, they're not even good. They don't even do anything. Uh, this is the blush that I used and it doesn't show up it's called the Hamptons I think I nearly broke my nails on this as well trying to open it at the time when I was fuming um because it really hurt so because I know Sophie's got her own natural nails well, mine are fake so hers are more likely to break but mine are more likely look I can't even get into it I'm talking away to you I can't there's, there's no colour. There's nice colour when you put it on. But I've tried it with different foundations. And it's just... Fft. This matte finishing... Long lasting... Fan, uh, next uh, finishing spray. It's not worth it guys. It really isn't. I, like I say. I haven't rated. The only thing I rate about NYX is the lip lingeries and the lip like metal ones uh and the nyx under eye concealer the rest of them no i wouldn't even waste your money you know everybody's different don't forget these are my opinions not anybody else's also the nyx kuvilicious this was a recommendation of Jeffree Star. Um, it doesn't do anything for me. As you guys know, my my eyelashes are ridiculous. And I've got none, basically. But this was both, it's curvilicious. And I was like, at least they might just give a little lift. No. It's, it's just rubbish, it really is. Also, the uh, Gimme Brow and the Ready Set Brow. These are exactly the same, I find, as the Essence. And probably five times cheaper. The Essence is like three pound. These are exactly the same. They do the same job. So, I don't like them either. Everybody's recommended them. So, I'm not going to point fingers out there also again the next hd powder i found a few youtubers that have said this is really good and really does make your face hd i don't know how but i don't like it don't like it at all it is it's just a powder but it's like you know oh i've just thrown that everywhere it gets everywhere seriously i don't like loose powders and i just really don't i can't be doing with powder everywhere so then uh safe does nails also recommended this highlight is this pardon me this highlighting set supposed to be blinding and see it from the guards and she won't be able to wear this colour or that colour there's there's four colours if you can see them and blinding colours 
I'm being serious. That is what she said. These were blinding colours. I was like, they're more like pat, pat, pad colours. You know, you can use it as blush brushes. Same as with the PS makeup. I hate all of it. All of it with a passion. I've got the video. If I remember, I will link them all up above for you guys to check out because I didn't like this DPS range either. The next two, and everyone is going to be going, oh my god, what? I do not like, and again, these are class court classics, so I'm not saying any particular YouTubers told me to get these. The Cindy Luma Man Maniza and the Mirilu Maniza. These are supposed to be highlighting. These do nothing. These these are literally. I'm not getting them out. These are everybody knows what they look like. These are literally blushes to me. I would wear them just as blushes, but then it's like, why don't I just buy a blush? If that's what I want it for. I might as well buy. A blush don't like the colors of them as a blush so yeah not really digging the vibes if you get what i mean um i also hated this beauty blender passion hated it uh again miss beauty budget reviewed this said it was nice said it was soft oh my god if you check out my beauty blender review no it's not it's like smacking your face with a donker <laughs> well that's putting it politely so no all of these products i have some sort of issue with them in the fact that i just don't like them so so yeah uh not bashing any youtube uh everybody has their favorite products down to you whether or not you take them up on their advice on their makeup but 99% of the stuff that I've said I don't like I've said in the video so because obviously things like this I said I didn't actually know I've tried it a couple of times wanted to give it more time um same as with these i tried them i didn't i tried them in the video they were nice in the video but then when you start adding because you know you can't touch your face or you you can't do this because you're doing a wear test that's not normal life we all scratch your face we all touch your face when you start doing that things start moving and that's what's been happening basically and this is why i don't like these products really just don't like them so and i'm not bashing youtubers they're all the youtubers that I watch so obviously this is where i get my inspiration from so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and if you uh, did give us a thumbs up and also in the comments let me know what youtuber has influenced you to buy something and then regretted the purchase uh would love to know leave it in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video speak to you soon